Hello, hello, hello. My name is Hector. Welcome back to Enigmatica 6. We are back. There's an ender bee just up there. Can you see it? Just about. It's not the dragon. It's an ender bee. How's it going? Uh, we're in the end because people have already very much defeated the dragon and whatnot. But I thought I'd just come in here and I've got a photoelectric pane and I just need to, I think do that basically there you go and it becomes a lens of ender um that's all i needed and let's go back home how is everyone doing i hope you're all doing well um we streamed uh yesterday from when this is done and look i've got a crafting grid i've got a disk drive um i've got no real chests out there anymore except for the cherry um but otherwise, yeah, look at that. And we've got one 64K storage disk and I've got a wireless crafting grid. So that's what we did um, on stream, basically. Uh, oh, and also uh, it's being powered currently by an ender cell uh, from power. So basically an ender cell is quite kind of neat. Um, uh, where is it? Ender cells, there you go. There's loads of them. Uh, you basically make two like that and then you put one uh, in one of them you put like a, an energy cell like that and then there's another one the controller is just under here in fact let's just do that there we go there's the other one and that is basically powering that that is how that is working uh, which is all very nice and happy um and what i just thought i'd do right now is i've got this and apparently if we put that on that that should work through blocks. So I also had to make one of these as well to make the energy cell. And basically, energizing orb from power, basically, the, all you need is, you need a few of these energizing rods, and these need to be powered, basically. So I put them all on powered things. And then you put the items of whatever you're crafting, and then lasers will shoot at that and craft the thing, basically. And that's pretty much how that works. Right, Um, I guess, have I got... That's already got... Uh, I'm trying to think. I wonder, actually, if I can... Uh, no, that's not going to work. Hmm. Basically, I'm trying to make it so that I can have this somewhere and it always... I, I, I've just dumped everything here for now. Um, like, all of these machines are just sort of here. I made some power cable as well. Um, I guess if I could, and I should be able to, I just move you one block like that, and I put you there for now, then put you on that like that. That is basically full. But what the lens of Ender should be able to do, and I don't know if you can see if it's on there or not, but this should work basically through blocks. That's what it says. Uh, where is it? Lens, lens of and uh, there you go. Uh, oh, it doesn't say on there. It says somewhere. It says somewhere. Where is the power book? There it is. The manual lens of ender. When applying a lens of ender to a solar panel, we'll make it see through blocks. So that's kind of nice. That's that's pretty neat. Now, um, bees. We're, we're back to bees because we have ourselves three nether stars, which is not too bad. Anything more? Let's, yeah, why not? Why not put those in there, whack you in there. So I've taken all my bees away from in here because we need, we need, we need, we need. Uh, let's actually turn this on. Yes. Did I get that? Oh, that probably got that. Okay, that I can, I can totally deal with that. Um, and I think both of those, yeah, look at that, that. That they're, they're, they're going in there. Oh, man. Sometimes, man, ender hoppers. Right, okay, okay, okay. I bet the... Yeah, there you go. Tier 4, lovely stuff. So, with this, we should now be able to make... Uh, <laughs> I think I just need combs. Now, I've noticed that these combs, the vanilla honeycomb blocks, only need four honeycombs to make a block. Which is like way cheaper uh, than the resourceful bees ones. So that's just like a little, a little bit of a cheat, really. Um, there we go. Bam, tier one apiary. Yes. Okay. Um, and basically, the way I've been getting um, 
vanilla ones is with a pedestal. There you go. I've just put it near like a just a normal regular bee nest, and it is doing stuff. And in fact, I can let's get all of those back. There we go. Lovely stuff. Um, and I've got two nether stars left. But we have a tier one apiary. Now, I do also need, uh, and I can't remember what it is called, a storage thing, apiary storage. Um, so one of those. Oh, it's nice to have refined storage. What am I missing? I'm missing more more of these, basically. More combs. Do I have enough again? No, I do not. I do not. How many is this? Three. That makes, what, 11? No, 12. One, two, three. And I think, I do believe that even making a hoop, just one of these should be in, should be okay basically uh here. i have got the range upgrade on here as well but and which is why i'm able there we go ha 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 apiary storage now if we look in the b book um there you go building an apiary building an apiary multi block is extremely simple the structure consists of an apiary apiary storage and any block from the valid apiary tag now i've been trying to find how to do that and i can't so if you look in here the tag there you go uh, is on require prefix which is exactly like the at thing um so dollar sign and then tags but if we no if we do that uh dollar sign there you go and then put valid whatever valid well it was what valid a p o r e yeah it does doesn't doesn't work and in fact basically nothing pound sign um nothing seems to work with it so i don't know what i'm doing wrong there so i presume i don't know i presume i can do most things with that the size of the structure should be seven by six by seven and it can basically have uh, apiary apiary storage and maybe even an apiary breeder automated way to breed bees uh that's quite nice actually what is the breeder let's just have a look quickly um how do we do that okay maybe i could optional reader can be upgraded with additional breeders or time modifiers okay um so what does this do that is better than the tier four well you can see there it says output quantity right at the bottom it says eight so rather than getting one honeycomb you get eight per bee, but you can only have, there you go, nine unique bees in at any one time. Um, now, in the structure itself, I believe you can have more than just nine. Um, but I am going to need, I, th I don't know what to do now. I don't know whether I should just knock this all down or or what. I'm kind of unsure. Um Okay, I'm going to I'm going to have a mess around and see because I want to basically build this and use it and make it make it wonderful, make it work and then hook it up to our centrifuge as well, uh which would be nice so that we can we can get more stuff. All the things because I need more things. Yeah, this, yeah okay. Okay. So, um this is 7x7. Seven seven. It's actually it says 6 high. It's actually not. It's five high because if you put the so, a, the apiary has to go facing inwards because obviously this is where the bees are going to be. Um, but can we? Oh, there we go. Uh, preview. There we go. So you can sort of see it, which is quite nice. And I'm I'm sort of just doing it with these at the moment. I don't know if we'll keep that. Um, no, not there. We shall see. We shall see. I'm not sure yet. Um, might might be fun. Might be nice to do something like this. I'm kind. Of, it, I mean, I would say that the beeswax sort of looks like cheese more <laughs> more than wax. But I don't like. I've used all of my honeycomb now um, to make you know to make our tier four apiary. So we might just. We might just be stuck with it for the moment. Um, there we go. I might just do this like that. 
Bam. Just about enough for the edges. And then we've got like a, a good sort of middle. Although I presume what I should do is maybe make like an entrance as well so that I can actually go, uh, get in here. Oh, I didn't do any of this bit. <laughs> Here's me congratulating myself. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So is that... Yeah, that's that's all good. That does look... That kind of does look like cheese, right, to me? Is Am I... <laughs> am I the only one? Um so we've got we've got our cheese block. I might try I don't I doubt this has got much more honey right now. In fact it's got no honey. Come on, B, you're slacking. You're slacking. Do your thing, B. Oh, you are doing your thing. Thank you very much, B. Um so um yeah, I need to find other things to put in here. Okay. Right, I think this should be okay. I've just been I've been sort of testing it out and seeing what else we can do. And I think this is maybe going to be a little bit not so permanent. Uh, uh, just a, a for now thing. Um, I've put some flowers in there as well, along with some nether wart. Um, nope, not you. I've lost it forever. There we go. But you can see um, that it is accepting these. Like... Or at least that's what it looks like to me. So if I uh, let's, I think it do I think this will not accept it. There you go. You can sort of see that it's sort of red. Can you see that? Um, whereas if I put that there, it's it seems fine. So that's what I'm assuming uh, is the case. But I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. We shall have to see. Huh, 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 huh. Is that it? Is that it? I said the weirdest structure. I, I thought I put some light in it just in case. That looks it, right? That looks like it's sort of done. Um, put you and you back in, uh, I think. So then we come here. Oh, uh, something is unsuccessful. <laughs> Have I missed a block or... Um, I can't see it. I wonder if it's that apiary block. Where is it? You can see I've been messing around. Uh, X 1429 903. Ah. I think it's the um, the nether wart. Ah, that is a little bit irritating. Um, now I can't get in here without doing that. Um, so if I can't put that in, that's a little bit of an issue for quartz beads, surely. How do we do... How are we meant to do that? I don't know. Um, let's just do this for now. There we go. See if that is the issue. Oh, now you've done it. Okay. What happens if I... Aha, okay. And then as soon as I do that, it's fine again. How interesting. Okay. So, well, hey, whoa, ha, uh, I don't know what I just did. Right, we just had a cheeky little server crash, but it seems to be okay again now. And um, what I'm just going to try... So, nine unique bees, it says. Um, so, these are nine, but I think we'll probably... All oh, right, I'm not going to put the quartz one in now, because I don't know how we do that then. I'm not sure how that might work. Um, oh, well, it, I know what... Oh no, what's happened now? Oh! Oh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, maybe the crash sort of undid that. Oh no, have I got. No <laughs> have I got any glass in here by any chance? No? Really? Did the crash just eat my glass? That's a bit poops. Uh, oh man. I seem to forever in this mod pack at least be uh have I got a yeah um 
where is it? I, I constantly, constantly have to smelt stuff. It is a bit crazy. So, okay. Let's get you out. Um, but that, that was totally working then. So, oh yeah, look, we've even got, we've even got this back here. Okay, well, that was fun. Um, so, I am wondering, I wonder if we put that down one block. But I, yeah, I don't understand then. I don't understand how the nether quartz stuff we can put that in unless we kind of put it like in the middle of something. Uh, like let's let's try let's try let's do a little bit of the Minecraft science. There we go, and do that. There we go. Try it like that and see if it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in and then um. I don't know what the press C to focus is. That's done a thing. I don't know what that is. Um, and then we'll try and validate this again and actually put some bees in. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, so we'll do that. We'll put a bee in like that, import it, and does that, is that, is that it? We can lock that, IMB, ticks in hive. I think, I think that's basically how it works. All right, let's see. Ticks left in hive. I get you, I get you, I get you. So all of this basically should have gone down. Then apiary storage. Aha, there you go. So that is that is this, which we can make a lot bigger. And I'm going to make it a lot bigger. But I sort of want to see this happen first. I'm excited. Is the bee going to come out? Is that how it works? Come on. No? Six left. I'm so confused. Oh no, is it because it's night time? I'm a little bit confused. I'm a little bit befuddled. I mean, that says that there. Oh. Oh, it was locked. Okay. 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 So one, uh, so, well, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. I don't know if I need all of those, but hey, let's let's try it. Let's see what happens. I guess. Uh, so we got seven. So what's that skeleton B? Oh, is that because it's not done yet? Is that oh no? I think to locking them basically just means that they stay in the hive for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, but it's night time. So that is happening. What I'm going to do quickly, I'm going to make, uh, is it, no, upgrade. It's the apiary upgrade, I'm guessing. Apiary upgrade. No, that's the breed upgrade. There it is. Oh, there's something out. There's something out. Oh, yeah, there they are. Here we go. It's happening. They're doing things. Okay, so let me upgrade this. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're already doing stuff. <gasps> that was super fast. That was, like, really fast. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, it's night time. All right. Upgrading. Upgrading. Okay, so I'm just basically, I'm trying to make a diamond one at least, I figure. I don't really, uh, have I got enough emeralds? I actually do. Am I going to need that? Shall I just do it? Why not? Fine. I'll do it. Make it happen. All right. So, uh, let's have a look to see. That took me like a few minutes, really. Uh, yeah, fine. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bam. There you go. Look at that. That is already rather nice. Um, like, that's pretty good. And I'm guessing... One out of nine bees is in here. So I'm guessing really we could put more bees in. Let's oh, I keep I keep doing that accidentally. Um let's uh where's the iron ones? Iron Oh, have I got a gold one in? I don't think I do, do I? Oh no, I do, I do, I do. So let's see if I basically do that as well. B import was unsuccessful. I ah, because there's already one in. So if I do that, there we go. 
I can do that, unlock that. And I guess that just means that gives me a few more like options. So let's put another quart. I need a lot of quartz at some point. So that's going to be happening. Uh, oh, no. It just came in. Dang it. Just came in. So, yeah, this is where you're going to have to sort of do their thing a little bit. But that is really rather nice. So I need to... Uh, I need to get this, the centrifuge, over here, basically. Um, that would be a nice thing. And to basically demolish this, which I am going to I'm gonna do rather fast. That is like a lot of stuff. Uh quartz be still in. Iron B isn't. There we go. Is that the quartz one still? Yes. Want a lot of iron as well, so I'm trying to, you know. I'm trying to up all of this uh, as much as I can. And then at some stage, I think a bee will basically try to get in but won't be able to. But that, I'm like, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Quartz bee is still there. Um, that is filling up pretty well. Pretty well. Uh, ooh, quartz bee import. Unlock. There we go. Yeah, okay. Oh. Almost that another iron bee. Come on. Leave. Leave. And then we go. Oh, dang it. Another one came in. Alright, okay. Um I I I can do this. I can do this. Look at that. Oh, it's it's doing so nicely. So sadly, I was gonna hide this pipe under here, but the um the floor is actually part of it. So just one block under is actually part of it. So you remember when I said it's only like, wait, what is this? It's only six high. It is actually seven. It's just, it goes one block further down. Um, or no, five high, but it is, yeah, it's actually six. So it goes one block further down. So all of that, I couldn't, I couldn't put it out. So I just, I just did it here. I've got the high extraction module here uh, that pumps basically everything into here, all the combs. And then round the back here, I've got this set up again. So this is basically, this is extracting um, just the honey, putting it into here. This is making it into sugar. The sugar's going into there with a void upgrade. And then this is set to just pull out the bottles and put them back in here. So this always has a supply of bottles. And lastly, all I need to do is basically get all of that out. Um, and I don't know if I have quite enough. This might just have to be like a a bit of a fix for now. Uh, for a for now thing. Uh, am I? Am I? Uh, uh. Oh yes, just right. Okay. Have I got another? Now, I don't. I presume it's gonna do all the things that it can. Like, that would make sense to me, right? It's not just going to pull out those things because those things don't have a thing and I don't really need to. Like, it's not going to pull out the bottles, I don't think. It doesn't look like it. It looks to be, you know, seeing what it actually can do, which is great. So, uh, we're going to have a lot more quartz now, which is rather, rather nice. Ow. Ow. <laughs> um, yeah, look at all that quartz. Oh, that is great. That is lovely. Oh. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I see an immediate problem. That just shoved all of that out. Now, that's meant to prevent oversending, but it did anyway. Uh, that is quite annoying, because we're going to lose stuff like that. Okay. Um, I don't have time to quite do that now. These pipes are good, but they seem to just, you know, not always do the thing that I want. Okay, that that's going to be it from me. I'm going to have to fix that somehow, and I will show you how I fix it next episode. Thank you all so much. We've got we've got proper resources now. Um, the pack now. We've got flight, we've got refined storage, and we have resources. Uh, and that's, that's when a mod pack truly starts. Now we can start to have fun. So thank you so much for being on my B journey so far. Uh, I have been Hector. This has been Enigmatica 6. Do like and comment and subscribe and think if you fancy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.